In Activity 8, High or Low, students investigate pitch. Students first classify sounds according to high or low pitch, then infer that the volume and pitch of a sound depend on the strength and rate of vibration. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 8, Index Card, Clothespin, and a Xylophone. You will also need to provide a bicycle. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 8 for each student. Bring a bicycle to class, turn it upside down, and attach the index card with the clothespin to the seat or the hub of the rear wheel, so that as you spin the wheel, the spokes hit the card and cause it to vibrate. Make a copy of Activity Sheet 8. In the first column, write nine musical notes to play on the xylophone in the last section of the activity. Beside each note, indicate whether you will play it softly or loudly, and whether it is higher or lower than the previous note. Avoid playing consecutive notes that are similar in volume or pitch, as students may have difficulty differentiating between them. To begin the activity, hit the longest bar and then the shortest bar on the xylophone with about the same intensity. Ask students, how would you compare these two sounds? The student should say that the sound produced by the longest bar is low and the sound produced by the shortest bar is high. Play a scale by hitting each bar once in order from the longest bar to the shortest bar. Then ask, what happened to the sounds as I played? the students will notice they got higher. Play the scale again, this time in reverse order, from the shortest bar to the longest bar. The students will hear that the sound got lower as the notes were played. Next, instruct the students to listen carefully as you play some notes. First hit high C, then hit D. Ask students, is this sound higher or lower than the previous one? It is lower. Repeat this process for B, low C, and A. Make sure the students hear the change in sound as it goes from high to low, back to high. Continue to hit various notes, stopping after each one to let the students decide whether it is higher or lower than the previous note. Tell the students they have just heard sounds of different pitch. Ask students, how would you define the word pitch? Explain that pitch is how high or low a sound is. Next, turn the bicycle upside down in front of the class where everyone can see it. Point out the index card fastened to the rear wheel. Ask students, what will happen to the card when I turn the wheel? Turn the pedals to turn the wheel at a moderate speed. Then ask, when the spokes hit the card and you hear a sound, what is the card doing? It is vibrating back and forth. Ask students, what do you think will happen when I turn the pedals faster? Some students may know that the card will vibrate faster and the pitch of the sound will go up. Now, turn the bicycle pedal faster and faster and then let the wheel gradually slow down. Students should have heard the pitch of the sound become higher as the card vibrated faster and faster. As the wheel turned more slowly, the card vibrated more slowly and the pitch of the sound became lower. Ask students, what can you infer about the connection between the rate of vibration and the pitch of a sound? The faster the rate of vibration, the higher the pitch, and the slower the rate of vibration, the lower the pitch. Next, point out that vibrations can be strong and at the same time be either fast or slow. They can also be weak and at the same time be either fast or slow. Ask students, what kind of sound do strong, slow vibrations produce? What about strong, fast vibrations? Strong, slow vibrations produced loud and low pitches, while strong, fast vibrations produced loud and high ones. Then ask students, what kind of sound do weak, slow vibrations produce? How about weak, fast vibrations? Weak, slow vibrations produce soft and low sounds, while weak, fast vibrations produce soft and loud ones. 
Next, give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 8. Explain that you will play notes on the xylophone. After you play each note, they should decide if the note is softer or louder or higher or lower than the previous note. Ask them to record their decisions on the activity sheet. Tell students to leave the spaces blank across from sound one, the first note in the series. It is best to avoid playing consecutive notes that are in similar volume or pitch, as students may have difficulty differentiating between them. Play one note and then another and ask, how did the second note compare to the first? The answer will depend on the notes you played and the force with which you played them. Play the series of nine notes you prepared earlier and listed on the activity sheet. Wait between notes to give the students time to record their decisions. Finally, repeat the same series of notes. Have the students check their earlier answers. Discuss any questions that arise. To conclude the activity, return the clothespin, index card, and xylophone to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.